This is the 2021 Aston Martin DBX. Powerful? You bet. Classy? Sure is. But it also happens to be one of the most dog-friendly, super luxury SUVs on the market. <laughs> now look, this video is not going to even come close to debating whether or not the DBX is worth its price tag. Because when you buy an Aston, you have the money. It's more about figuring out your goals and then designing with that purpose in mind. It's kind of like building a custom home. You got to think about the aesthetic. You can make it so unique, so special, one of a kind. This particular DBX has 100,000 US dollars worth of upgrades. That's right. For example, this Q Branch paint, golden saffron, is 9,100 US dollars. Paired with the carbon fiber upper and lower pack for $10,600 and $15,200 respectively. That's upwards of $26,000. There is just so much carbon fiber and that's just the outside. This gives the DBX a totally different personality. Now, the reason why I can say that is because a few months ago, I was in my first DBX, which happened to have $80,000 less in features. It lacked the carbon fiber packages and the exterior color was Buckinghamshire green. It was so sophisticated, super classy. Whereas this one, I think it looks young, sporty, and so fresh, especially from the side. And with Q Branch, you can really get creative on the color choices. And to match the exterior so beautifully, this has the Madagascar orange brake calipers. Carbon ceramic brakes are not an option. It would have been nice to have, even if it were just for looks. But guys, these wheels are the most stunning wheels I have ever seen. 22 inch ribbon satin black diamond turned. Now the other DBX also had 22 inch wheels, but nothing like this. And this center cap, you can even customize that. And you know what else is special about this DBX? The badge. It's like a piece of jewelry. And the Aston Martin lettering in the rear matches. Super glamorous. Pair that with this grill. It's so Aston. There is no mistaking this for anything else on the road. The headlights reminiscent of a DB11. Plus, these are the daytime running lights down here. Super cool. And there is an opening for airflow. And look at these windows. Because there's no bottom trim and the sheet metal is nicely folded by the glass, it gives the windows a floating appearance. Even the B pillars have glass to complete the look. It is so chic, so clean. And I love that the door handles also carbon fiber. Now that is part of the upper carbon fiber package. But I gotta say, the design, it is a little hard to get open and I just really struggle looking cool trying to open this thing. And check that out, it is double pane acoustic privacy glass which you know what that means right quiet on the inside blocks the sun which is great for dogs and this rear now as a vantage lover myself and someone who stares at the back light bar of a vantage all the time in sim racing i can totally see the resemblance plus this also has the sports exhaust upgrade for 2300 dollars and the design of this upper spoiler is super cool not only does it create downforce but it pushes water off the glass so if it's raining you don't need a wiper and the bulge the ducktail now i do know it's garnered some negative opinions because it is quite bulbous i don't quite know how i feel about it just yet but i do know without the bulge that's right andy and abby wouldn't fit and if you push the button right here it drops even lower access mode which is great for dogs and when you need the extra space, just push these buttons right here on the side and the second row plops down. Now, before everyone starts totally freaking out that I have two dogs inside a $300,000 vehicle, let's just get a few things straight. This carpet is so high end that it vacuums impeccably. So dog hair, don't even worry about it. Plus, I covered it. 
And if you're worried that the dog's paws are gonna scratch up the car or maybe my jeans, well, don't worry about that either. These are very smooth pants and the dogs both got potty cures before this video. But in all seriousness, if you have a dog and you're gonna get a DBX, Aston makes some great packages like the Pet Package or the Interior Protect Pack. If you get both of those, your DBX will pretty much be dog proofed. And you can even get a custom dog bed to match for this cargo area, which we did try to get, but unfortunately it didn't work out. Now as is, the 402040 seat is perfect. It allows a cargo rider like Andy to see forward, just plop the middle section down and you don't compromise the main seating in that second row. Furthermore, there are four vents back here, two in the center and two in the side, which you don't always see. And you can feel it when you're seated all the way back, which is great if your dog rides on a seat like Abby. Plus you can easily tuck these seatbelt clips into the back of the seat so they're not wobbling around. But where this really shines for dogs is when you go for a drive. In GT mode, it's so quiet, comfortable, and the dogs are super relaxed. Now I could totally see leaving this in GT mode, going on a nice long road trip, throw a roof box on top. Oh yeah, that's right, check that out. Big shout out to Aston for hooking us up with the roof racks. Now we couldn't actually get an Aston Martin roof box, so we had to improvise, use our own but at least it gives you a little bit of an idea of what this would look like if it had one. And roof boxes, they have come a long way. I mean, they could be super trendy. And when you're traveling with a dog, it just means you have that much more interior space and you're not laying all over your bags. But don't let the comfort of GT mode distract you because this baby has a beast that can be unleashed. It has the familiar four liter twin turbo V8 that we saw in the Vantage, except this time around, it produces 542 horsepower, 516 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds. And with six different drive modes, change to Sport Plus, and this baby is a ton of fun to drive. The paddle shifters are metal. They are properly mounted on the steering wheel column. Now I know there is a divided camp between column mounted versus wheel mounted. I personally don't care. As long as they got some weight, and my fingers can reach them. The steering in here, it feels effortless, which is good. Whereas in the Vantage, I actually felt the steering was a lot more sensitive in there, which I liked because let's say if I were to take the Vantage to a track, I'd want more sensitive driver inputs. In here, don't be fooled. It's not dead or muted by any means. It's just more smooth. And that is largely due to this tricked out 48 volt anti-roll system that Aston calls eARC. There's variable rigidity depending on what mode the DBX is in. And when you combine that with phenomenal air suspension in here, whether you're in GT mode or Sport Plus mode, this DBX will transform into exactly what you want. And there actually is a discernible difference. If I'm in GT or any of the terrain modes, the engine is really quiet. In Sport Plus, everything just opens up. My seatbelt engaged. Come on, there we go. <laughs> so not only does this look and feel classy, but it sounds classy too. And while this particular styling might give a more young, fresh look, it is still so elegant. Also, safety features come standard. You have a 360 degree camera with front and rear parking sensors. The buttons on the left side of the wheel give you access to adaptive cruise control. But check out the graphic displayed in the gauge cluster when you set the distance between you and the cars ahead. It's a DB5, which is super cool. And I have to say, the lane keep assist is very responsive. Not only do you get inputs through the wheel, but if you start to cross over the line, this will slow down and put you back into your lane. And a note of caution, you will definitely be turning a lot of heads and probably meet a lot of people when you're driving this thing around. And truthfully, just sitting in here, guys, it feels so special. 
Now I mentioned that a few months back I was in that Buckinghamshire green DBX and that was covered in Sahara tan leather. It was absolutely gorgeous. And I remember when I got into that for the first time, I felt engulfed in leather. And that is exactly what it feels like in here. There is leather everywhere. I kind of feel like this is what a toy poodle would feel like in a Birkin bag. The leather is at a whole nother level. It is so soft. It feels incredible. The broke design is so fashionable. The stitching is beautiful, which you can customize that. Even the speaker grills are covered in leather. And to top it off, this leather smells incredible. I am not making this up. I could sit here all day and smell this seat. This is super luxury. And this interior color is called Dark Night, a beautiful blue. The Alcantara headliner matches perfectly, which by the way, you can also get this in leather. And the carpet even matches. The carpet, it's blue. And one big difference in this DBX compared to the other one is the addition of the carbon fiber. There's even carbon fiber on the back of these seats. And there's dark chrome in here, which totally adds to the coolness factor. The other one had more of a shiny satin finish. This screen right here, it's not a touch screen. Everything is controlled down here with this knob. I know that's a bit of a disappointment for some, but think of the bright side. You're not gonna have nasty fingerprints all over this screen, and there is Apple CarPlay. Now, if you look down here, there is a designated spot for your phone. I heard in the Euro models, there's actually a wireless charger down here. I don't know if that's true, but it would be nice if they created a pass through for the cord because right now my cord is dangling out the side. Or even better, wireless Apple CarPlay with an integrated MagSafe charger. Now I do wanna mention, I've been able to get very comfortable in this seat. You can adjust the steering wheel very easily. This armrest slides forward. The only thing I struggle with a little bit is reaching the gear shifter and the start stop button. Now, I know traditionally this is where these buttons are and they are glass buttons, people. Absolutely love it. I just wish I didn't have to reach forward as much. But aside from that, I have been saving one of my most favorite features about this interior, this glass roof. When you pop open this shade, it is absolutely incredible. Kind of left me speechless at first. The glass roof provides a ton of light and because this is specced with the indulgence package, you have that double paned acoustic privacy glass that I mentioned earlier. So this might honestly be the most expensive vehicle that we ever lab test, but it has totally opened my eyes to a whole new world and experience. You can essentially get into three differently specced DBXs and have a unique experience in each one and customizing your Aston to fit your personality. That's right, Abby, and your needs. It must be an incredible experience. So I'm especially thankful to Aston for opening my eyes to a different side of automotive luxury. And I hope you at home were able to experience this with us through my filming. So girls, I have such an important question for you. Is the 2021 Aston Martin DBX lab approved? Yeah, sure is. Please consider subscribing and following us on Instagram to check out more lab-tested adventures. Until next time, bye!